Welcome to the child of excellence. Well, we strive for excellence. Well, we strive to be one better than what we were yesterday. Now, everybody asks me, they say, what spirit brought you in to the music? Well, see, I'm going to let you guys know one thing about me that no one, no one probably ever knew. When I was a child back in 1968, I think the riots was going on in Detroit, Michigan. And I stayed on Delaware between Woodrow Wilson and Poe. Now we know the, war, the riot broke out on 12th in Delaware. That's where they raided the blind pig. Now, as a youth at seven years old, I used to walk two blocks over to West Grand Boulevard to where Motown was. And I used to sit on the grass. And I remember one day I was sitting on the grass. It was about, maybe about four, four children. We just walked over there and we sat on the grass. And Barry Gordy came out on the porch. And after Barry Gordy came out on the porch, a little boy came out on the porch. And a little boy sat up and he was playing a harmonica. And when the little boy was playing a harmonica, it was only four children sitting in the front yard. So Barry Gordy, he motioned for all of us to come up there. So we came up there and we sat on the porch. And I never knew till later on that that little boy that was playing the harmonica was Stevie Wonder. See, back in 1968, I sat on the porch of Motown with Stevie Wonder and Barry Gordy. And Barry Gordy was telling a seven-year-old child how he could find talent, greatness, throughout the universe. Barry Gordy, I thank you. You probably would never remember who I am. But you sat here and you talked to me when I was a child. And I thank you. Stevie, when you sat there and you played the harmonica, and then we walked around the block, I didn't even know that you were going two houses from where I stayed to where I remember one of the girls' name was Gloria Keys, where she stayed at. And Miss Keys and all of the beautiful women, the Keys family. I remember them on Delaware between Woodrow Wilson and Papa. And Stevie came out on the porch. It was a closed in porch. And he started playing the harmonica. And we all sat on the grass and watched him. But remember, it was four of us at first sitting on that grass. But as we sat there and he began to play, more children came. Adults came too. Even my mother and father came. And we all sat there and watched Stevie Wonder play the harmonica. This is one of the greatest times of my life. And after Stevie played the harmonica, they came out and they took everybody around the corner over on, I think it was Pallister and Poe. It was an ice cream place right on the corner. They bought all of us ice creams. And then we went back, sat down, and watched Stevie play again. That was a marvelous day. So that greatness that spirit was transformed into me from Barry Gordy. Thank you. I was seven years old. Hello, my divine kings and queens. It's your girl. It's your sister. It's your friend. Back to do another video. But before we get into these messages, I want to let you guys know 
that I've restocked on all of the JC Game merch and pillows and water bottles. So you guys can go and check that out on my website, divinehealingministries.org, or you can check it out in the description box below, a direct link that will take you to the store, um, and you'll be able to shop for all of your JC Game merch, as well as purchase a copy of my book, Reinvent Yourself, It's Never Too Late. For those of you who have already bought my book, thank you guys so much. I appreciate it if you leave me feedback. And for those of you who, who have not, who've asked me where it's located, um, you can check it out in the description description box below of all of my videos as well as in the community board so make sure that you go and check that out check out my website um and i've opened up sessions now so you guys can book me uh for one-on-one -on -one personal sessions so make sure that you check that out on my website and check everything out in the description box below and now let's get into these messages i love y'all hello my divine kings and queens i'm back to do another video and today's message we're going to be going over is God is telling you to sit back and let him handle that. Sit back and let him handle that. There are situations that you're going through where there are people who have gone against you and people who have said things about you, play one way to your face and said things behind your back that to the point where it broke you down so much and you feel like you have to state your claim and you feel like you have to prove something to these people. But at the end of the day, God is telling you to sit back and let him handle that because that blowback will be something serious. Do you understand what I'm saying? And the blowback is simply him coming through and vindicating you and cleaning off your name and cleaning off the dirt and the mud that people threw on your name. Do you understand what I'm saying? The spiritual grid that you're on right now and the, the spiritual trajectory that God outlined for you. The path that he predestined for you to be on. Do you understand me? There were certain people and situations that you had to encounter in order to learn certain lessons out of these people and out of these situations. Do you understand what I'm saying? That was part of your curriculum. So at the end of the day, God is instructing you, you have to understand what it is that he is trying to do for you. And in understanding what it is that he's trying to do for you, you have to step out of his way. He's instructing you to sit back and let him handle the battle. Let him fight your battles for you. Because he's telling you that the battle is not yours, that it's his. And he can come through on a level and deliver this blowback and his payback to your enemies on a level that you would have never been able to deliver it on. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because the way and the things that he's about to bring to you, you're about to be walking like you ain't never walked before. Talking like you ain't never talked before. You about to be moving and living. Spending money that you ain't never had before. Do you understand what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, God is telling you to sit back and let him handle that. So you don't bring further damnation to yourself. And you don't hurt yourself while you're on this path. Carrying out missions that he needs you to carry out. Do you understand what I'm saying? Learn the lessons that he needs you to learn. He's telling you that that's all that you have to be focused on. See, the thing is, what's happening is people are realizing who you are. People are realizing who you are, like I said, as opposed to when they had full access to you and they mishandled you and they misguided you. They misunderstood you. People didn't know that they was in the presence of greatness, sweetheart. They didn't know that they was in the presence of greatness. They didn't know what God had in store for you. They didn't know who you was going to be, the things that you was going to do, the things that you were going to have. Likewise, God didn't want these people to know because he wanted the right people to be in your life for the right reasons. Do you understand what I'm saying? God is doing things for you that you didn't have the strength to do. And a part of that is the process of elimination and weeding out these negative and toxic people out your life that was never meant to be in your life in the first place. Do you understand what I'm saying? But a lot of you had lessons that you needed to learn out of these people. And in you learning these lessons, he's instructing you to sit back and let him handle the rest. Sit back and let him handle that and let him make something shape. Because he is telling you that when he take you to the next level of your life, that these very same people going to see you, but they're not going to be able to reach you. They're not going to be able to have full access to you. They won't be able to intervene to intercept, to block, stop, and sabotage anymore. 
because he is building a fence all around you. He is building a fence to protect the blessings and the things that he is bringing your way. He is building a fence all around you so that you may say the things that he needs you to say. He is building a fence all around you to keep your enemies at bay. JC, back me up. GPR, you with me. You already know what to do. If any of these messages resonate with you, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And tell a friend to tell a friend to join the JC gang. Reach one, teach one. We ride together. We gonna slide together. JC gang for life. You already know what's up. He is building his fence all around you to ensure and to protect the blessings and the things that he is bringing your way, baby. And it's also to keep those very same enemies at bay. Those very same enemies that spoke certain outcomes over your life. Those very same enemies that spoke failure over your life. The very same enemies that sat back and watched you struggle and laughed in your face and behind your back. The very same enemies that didn't think that God was going to rise you up from the ashes. The very same enemies... That at the end of the day, set certain expectations for you that was very low. Only to have to end up watching you exceed not only their expectations, but God's expectations. And the expectations that the Most High had for you was set high. And you ended up exceeding those expectations. Because you are chosen. Because you are blessed and divinely favored. So God is going to make sure that your enemies cannot intercept and intervene to block and distract and sabotage you anymore. You're on a spiritual grid and that's what you didn't understand. That's why you was going through the, some of the things that you was going through. Everybody's path is different. No one man's path is the same. You understand what I'm saying? That's why your blessings is different. Your purpose is different. Your mission is different. Do you understand what I'm saying? Your level of anointing is different. Your spiritual rank is different. God had to place certain people on your path, as tough as it may be, as tough as it was for you, because the struggle was real. The struggle was real, but you learned through those struggles. You learned through those betrayals. You learned through that pain. Because that's how God orchestrated it to go. The whole time you was never alone and he was right there with you. He was right there with you to ensure that you will make it to the other end. That you will make it to the other side. To step into the blessings. You went through the struggles to learn lessons. And he protects you along the way so you can get to the next phase. So that you can enjoy the blessings that he had in store for you. He is protecting you. That is why he's telling you to sit back and let him handle that. Sit back and get out of his way and let him make something shake. Because he's not going to let your enemies have their way with you. Comment in the comment section below. How many times have God made a fool out of your enemies? How many times did he make a fool out of your enemies? They spoke things over your life and thought that you weren't going to be anything, thought you wasn't going to make out of these situations that you were in, only to have to sit back and watch you become something great. To watch the power that was already vested inside of you ignite and watch you catapult, watch God catapult you to the next level of your life. God switched up your lanes, changed your path, got these people off your path, and he set you on a new path, appointed you in a new position, gave you a new season, new blessings, a new beginning. He touched everything that you put your mind to, and he blessed it, and he blessed it, and he blessed it, and he blessed it, so that you would see that you weren't alone, so that you would see the power you will see his power and how he has his hand over your life. You were crying out to him. Some of y'all was crying out to God because the pain, you just felt like the pain was unbearable. At one time, at one point in time in your life, you felt like the pain was just too much to bear. And see, some of you really got down on your knees and you prayed to God to give you strength, right? God is answering prayers and bringing blessings your way that you didn't even ask him for now. 
just because of how you chose to handle these situations? How many times again I ask you, did he make a fool out of your enemies? Because they're watching you. They init initially, they were watching you to see these things that he spoke over you, that he was speaking over you, manifesting your life. But what ended up happening was they saw God turn everything to work in your favor and now they glued to you and they can't stop watching you. But at the end of the day, God is saying that when he takes you to the next level of your life, that these people won't be able to reach you. Jesus, be a fence all around me every day. I'm asking you, I want you to protect me as I travel on my way. I know you will, yes, Lord, I know you will, JC Gang. Fight your battles if you be still. Hmm. That's all you had to do was be still. That's all he's telling you right now. Be still. Sit back and let me handle that and let me make some shape. Because how many times? That's what, this, that's what he's asking you. That's why I'm telling you. Comment it in the comment section below. How many times did you make a fool out of your enemies? Very same people that's watching you that was laughing before, they're not, even, they're not even laughing no more. All they could do is sit back and watch you in awe and shock and regret like what I said. Because they know what they did to go against you. They... They know what they said to have others look at you a certain type of way. They know what they did. These people know what they did to go against you. And they had to sit back and watch everything turn around and work in your favor. They had to sit back and watch you win. They had to sit back and watch you come up. They had to sit back and watch you glow up. They had to sit back and watch you eat. They had to sit back and watch you be all in your bag. While God was keeping these people about your life. What I said, he was building a fence all around you to protect the blessings and the things that he's bringing your way. To keep your enemies at bay. So that you would say the things that he needs you to say, learn the things that he needs you to learn, see the things that he needs you to see while you was on your spiritual path. Because you are on a spiritual grid. This is the path, the trajectory that God outlined for you, specifically tailor-made, built, prepared for you. This was a special path that he had for you because you were special to him. I don't care who these enemies are. I don't care if they was in your family, I don't care if they was in your friends, I don't care if they was ex-lovers. They know what they did and you scared these people when you bounced back the way that you did because they know what they did to go against you. But God is your protection. God is your rose and sharing your lily of the valley. He is your confidant, he is your redeemer. Do you understand what I'm saying? He gave you protection, protection, uh, and protection. Uh. Along the way, he protected your family, your job, your mind. Along the way, he's your fence. Jesus is your fence. He's your fence all around. Hashtag, won't God do it? Hashtag God came through. Because that blowback that he delivered to your enemies was something great. And I'm telling you right now, if you're not seeing it, he is preparing it to happen. Because see, this is why he was urging you to man down, stand down. Because at the end of the day, when these people did everything that they thought it was big and bad enough to do. Said everything that they felt like they had the right to say. Thought that they knew your story. Thought that they knew you. They thought that they had you all figured out. Thought that they was 50 steps ahead of you only to realize there was just that much more steps behind you. Thought that you was beneath them. Thought that you was nothing. Thought that you was unworthy. They put their mouth on you in the worst way. And now that God is blessing you, they have nothing to say. 
Baby, you lived to tell your testimony. You lived to see another day. Before you was merely existing, now you live in. That's the power of God and what he will do for you in your life when you stay obedient as unto him. See, they didn't know the personal relationship that you had with him. They didn't know it. They didn't know that they was in the presence of greatness. They didn't know it. Forgive them. But they know not what they do. They didn't know. They didn't, they didn't know that it was in the presence of greatness. They didn't know that it was in the presence of the daughter of a king. The son of a king. They didn't know that you were spiritual royalty. They didn't know that your rank was high. Because they, they judged you. They thought that they knew. But they didn't. They didn't have a clue. Because Jesus is your fence. He built that fence all around you. And see these people thought that they knew. They thought that they had it all figured out. But that's why God is telling you. Sit back and let me handle that. Because the battle is not yours. It's the Lord's. The battle is not yours. It's the Lord's. It's not. It's, it's, it's not. Your responsibility to sit here and have to state your claim, your claim and your case to all these people that spoke against you. Because see, the way and what he did was he allowed you, he told you to man down, stand down. He allowed these people to, thought, to think that they won. So they said what they wanted to say. They did what they, what they felt like they was big and bad enough to do. And God was the person who had to come around and clean you off and vindicate you. And it made every single last one of these people look like fools. Because whatever they said, whatever they did, they looked silly. Because it didn't affect you. It didn't stop you. It didn't block you. And it didn't kill you. It propelled you to the next level of your life into a new cycle and phase that these people didn't want you to make it to. Because of the way that he's protecting you, the way that he loves you, the way that he cares for you in a manner that no one has ever been able to do for you. No one will be ever be able to understand that pain and that hurt. I will never be able to understand that pain and that hurt. But God is, is, is saying, I can't make up for that pain and that hurt. But what I can do is make sure that your future up ahead is filled with nothing but abundance, prosperity, and success. Jesus, be a fence all around me every day. I'm asking you, I want you to protect me as I travel on my way. I know you will, yes, Lord, I know you will fight my battles if I be still. That's all you had to do was be still. Get out of your own way. Get out of your head. Stop thinking that things will not get better for you. Because God is still preparing that table. And he is in the process of bringing you everything that you ever asked him for and then some. He has to make sure that these people and your enemies have no direct effect over your life anymore. Because they didn't know what to do when they had full access. So access is denied to these people. And access is granted to you. So that you may open up the door and step into a new season of your life. That's filled with abundance and prosperity. Happiness and peace. You have clarity as to who these people are. But never mind all of that and what they said and what they did. Because God is vindicating you and he's coming through like he's never had before. That's why you're about to be walking and looking and speaking and moving and living like you never have before. Because he's your fence. He is your fence. And he is instructing you to sit back and let him handle that.
because he's about to come through in a major way for you. Do you understand me? Now you already know, if you need love, you got it in me. If you need motivation, inspiration, life example, you got it in me, you already know I'm your sister, I'm your friend, I'm your confidant, I come with that, I come with that real, I do not come with that fake. I keep it 100 with you, I keep it a buck with you, okay? Comment in that comment section below how many times God made an enemy, a fool out of your enemies. And I want you to end it off in hashtag, won't God do it? And hashtag, God came through because he sure did. And he's going to continue to do so on your behalf. Do you understand me? All you got to do is sit back and be still and let him come through. All you got to do is sit back and be still and let him make it do what it do. All you got to do is sit back and be still and watch how he bless you. Watch how he elevates you. Watch what he do. He about to shock you. He about to shock you. Watch. Just sit back. Watch and be still. That's all you got to do. And until next time, I want y'all to stay prayed up and be blessed. I love you.